All right, guys, before you watch this video, I just wanted to show you the bank pole setup we use. Um, we used for this video. It was three quarter inch PVC pipes. Um, and they're about anywhere from eight foot long or to five foot long, depending. We tried a different, couple different types. Um, on this side right here, we start the, uh, the rope or the trot line and we run it, we half hitch it, but every foot or so all the way down the end. That's so in case if the pole breaks or something, the, the fish is still going to be on there. And then we, then we just loop it around the end. Um, and you put half hitches in the end so you can set your set your depth. Hi, buddy. Then we have an egg sinker coming down and a swivel and about the biggest hook you can find. And uh, the swivel's important so that uh, if that fish spins, it's not going to twist and break your line somehow. Um, that's it. And we set it at about a 45 degree angle. Um, that way when the, when the pole bends in half from the fish, all your force is coming down. So if you're into the mud right a foot deep, all your force is, is trying, to, trying to bend, you know, bend it this way, bend it like this. It's not trying to pull the pole out. So that's the, uh, that's the idea. And uh, stick with us. I think you're gonna enjoy this video. What, what we've got also, what we've got at the end is we put a reflector on the end and also you got to put your name and address in Illinois on the end. <laughs> That's what it's about right there. All right, it's Friday afternoon. I meet up with Brian. We're going to catch some bait, get the afternoon started with a little pan fishing, and uh, see if we can't fill up a tank full of bluegills so that we can go out and run bank poles this afternoon. And uh, something I've always wanted to do some, I've done a little bit of it, but I haven't done a, like a big string of bank poles, and that's what we're going to get into tonight. So we're going to see if we can't get into some uh, flatheads and some, some channel cats. You know, it's, it's trips like this that really... Um, Make, make life worth living. You know, you get to run down here and do something. It's, it's just a 24 or 30 hour trip, but we're gonna have a good time. And uh, when you're passionate about something and you get to go do what you like to do with people you like to be with, it's what makes life worth living. We're having a good time chasing deer and chasing fish, uh, mushrooms, anything we can find in the outdoors to get together and do, that's what we like to do. And, uh, and it's fun, it's all about a good time, and enjoying God's beautiful creation that He has given us, and making use of the resources, the natural resources that have been laid at our feet by our Creator. Alright, it's uh, Friday night, it's about 7 o'clock, me and Josh uh, got all of our stuff kind of ready. <laughs> What you're about to see is our first attempt at a, a big time bank pole session. Right. Uh, we're gonna try to catch some big channels and flatheads and we've got about 35 bank poles uh, <laughs> between the two of us. Um, we've got about 50 to 60 bluegills we caught throughout the week and earlier today. All we gotta do is get all this stuff in the canoe. We've got a canoe instead of a boat. That's the plan. Come check out our bait tank. So I just made this the other day. Let's see if we can get some out. Three. All sizes. Alright, number one E factor happening already. I can't find the canoe paddles. Ten minutes later, still no paddles. Where are my paddles? I hope they're here. This is ridiculous. Yep, look at this.
One canoe paddle. <laughs> All right, two canoe paddles. Let's go. <laughs> Gotta get these bluegills in the water before they die. That's my number one priority. Made it here. We just gotta get past all this. Yeah. In the water. Yeah, we, we started to head up the river and uh, start setting bank poles. First thing we did is run into a log jam. So, like every good canoeer, drag your canoe out and go. So now we're making our way around it. Oh, yeah. Can't touch bottom. Might as well just put one here, I think. Might as well do it right now, huh? Let me get on the... You want to be right up under this yep. tree? Okay. That is way too much opportunity to... for him to get right where he's at. Right he's already wrapped around something. Deeper on this other side. I'm looking at this tree right here. Right up in here, I guess, right? Forget it, forget it. <laughs> I don't want to tip. It's okay if we have to go backwards for a minute. All right. Whew. All right. This is when the motor would be nice, right? We're going to have fun paddling back. Isn't it? It's going to be easier to set them coming back. All right, what we're looking for is uh, like a tree root and really deep spots on the river. We don't know what we're doing, but that's our plan. Only one way to figure it out. Go up there? Yep. All right, we got about, it's about 10 o'clock at night. We've got about... What do we say, about 20? Maybe about 20 bank poles set. Yeah. We ain't even started yet. We went back to pick the boat up where we put the last bank pole in. And then we look over and this, on this bank pole that's right across from the boat is, is bobbing up and down and we got this uh, eight pound channel cat on it. <laughs> Heck of a start. We, we, we finally got done running the second set of our bank poles. 
Um, we haven't gone back to check any, but on our way back from setting the second set of bank poles, we saw one of our poles, the first one we set out of the second set, bent in half. <coughs> and there's an 18 and a half pound flathead on it. Check it out. What do you think, brother? I think we should do this every weekend. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Feeding the hungry, I guess. That's I don't know. right. That's a beautiful thing. On the way back from setting that set out, we put out what, 10 bank poles? 11 bank poles. 11 bank poles. Again. Well, plus 11, plus 12, 13, 14. So 14, yeah. <clears throat> These are a couple that Brian already had set, just didn't have any bait on them. We stopped and baited them on the way by. <laughs> Got a hog. <laughs> we ain't gonna have much room in the barrel, I don't think. <laughs> no, not at this rate. Yeah, there, there's something on there. Maybe. Nope. We'll come back for it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Holy sh Nikes. Gosh, dude, this is a big one. I can't hardly pull him up. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is a hog. Did you see him? He's a, it's a big flat, I think. Let's see if I can get a look at him again. <gasps> How do I get him? I gotta grab him. rolling look at him spinning got him <laughs> oh. <sighs> he's 30 Can't catch him from the couch, can you? Dude, he is hooked good. Oh, no, he's not. Pull that with my fingers. Hang on to that tree, all right? I got it. He's got some weight to throw around now, boy. He's so fat. So glad I got him. Oh my gosh. It is absolutely amazing. What do you got there, Josh? <laughs> it weighs more than my children. <laughs> it's a big flathead. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. That's what dreams are made of that's around right. here. Yeah. 32. Look. I can get both my hands in it now. Come to Seaway. 11 pound channel. He's 11 too. 10, 12, 10 pounds, 14. Yeah, he's 11 too. All right, good morning. It's 11.45 in the morning or afternoon, whatever you call it. Uh, I finally woke up. Josh's been up forever, but we got catfish out there we still gotta go clean them and we're cooking some flathead belly right now from other catches this flathead meat is amazing it's like white steak 
All right, we got our bait tank, but what we did last night or this morning at 4.30 in the morning, is we didn't want to clean fish. We wanted to go to sleep because we've been up for about 20, I've been up for about 23 hours at that point. So we threw all of our big catfish in the bait tank. So we're going to drain the water. All of it? Then we'll be able to get the flatheads out. Daddy's going to hawk a big one out. Not sure he knows what he's doing. I, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, baby, we got some fish. Look at this. We got two 11 pound channels. Real nice. And what else we got in here? We've got us a. 32 pound flathead, yeah! 